to share with you some stories and some ideas about safety. But more importantly, I want to hear your stories and get to know your ideas about what we can do to improve patient safety. Well, it's not so simple. I wish it were, but it's not. And I'd like to explain why. That is culture. Culture <coughs> that we don't have in healthcare. You read the slides. <laughs> Let's hear some definitions. I want to hear some good ones. What's safe? What are we talking about? And what this means to all of us who work in a hospital is that if we wait for an error, a mistake, a bad outcome, an injury, a death, to tell us we're doing something wrong. Well then, we've exposed all of our patients to hazards, even the ones who are not harmed. And that bothers me. That really bothers me. I want it to bother everyone who works in this hospital. These are the engine gauges. He was looking at these gauges when he set power. Like when you set an IV, your hands on the thumb wheel, but your eyes on the drip chamber, taking a blood pressure, your hands on the bulb, but your eyes on the mercury column. Captain Wheaton's hands were on the throttle, but his eyes were on these gauges. He knew something was, was wrong. Why was he unable to stop the accident? And so we'll go through this, we'll answer some of those questions, and then we're going to listen to the cockpit voice recorder, the black box. You'll hear the actual audio from that cockpit. Everything that happened, everything they said, from the beginning of takeoff until impact. I want to warn you, it's real, it's chilling, it will upset some of you. It's the death of 78 people. Cultivate an environment here where safety is sexy. <laughs> it's attractive. It's considered the right 